Federal employee to personally benefit from the decisions that they are involved with? It is unethical. So is it proper or improper for a Federal employee to personally, financially benefit from the decisions that they are involved with? Uh, yes. We have rules uh, forbidding that and uh, very rules so that people don't get near that any greater. So if somebody does step over that line, what is the consequence? Uh, we would uh, probably turn it over to the IG for investigation. Uh, and let, okay, so they go through this investigative process, but let's say there comes to a conclusion that they have stepped over this this ethical line. What is the consequence for stepping over that line? Well, again, it depends on the exact nature of what they did in the law, but we would certainly uh, uh, take this very seriously, and the IG would, I'm sure, would have a recommendation should that occur. Have you turned over any of the names that Mr. Jordan talked about, or any others, over to the IG for further investigation? Uh, well, in the, in the few cases that I know, most of, most of those people I didn't actually know they had connections until today. But, for example, in the case of Steve Spinner, um, he was actually firewalled from participating in any decisions uh, regarding whether we make a loan to anything that he might have had a relationship to. What about David Prend? I didn't. I don't know David Prend. David Prend? You don't know Prend, David? No. He currently evidently serves on a, a panel to assist the DOE with solar technology issues. Uh, what about Steve Wesley? Steve Wesley, I do know. Has he been turned over to the IG yet? Uh, no, because we, um, in deciding on the Tesla loan, we, uh, he made no overtures, no, no phone calls, no instances to encourage us to make that loan. What about Nancy Ann DeParle? Uh, I didn't know she was connected with any of our loans. But she turned over some of the uh, assets that she had to her son. And Noble, uh, it, she was sat on the uh, board and owned interest in Noble Power. Noble owned a company called Granite Reliable, which received a partial guarantee of a $168.9 million loan from the Department of Energy. I guess, Mr. Secretary, one of the concerns is following up on that ethical standard. If there isn't a true and consistent standard uh, then it, it, that's not enforced, then it exacerbates the problem. And as Mr. Jordan rightly pointed out, there seems to be a pattern. There's so many names on this list. I just want to know personally, what are you doing to follow through on our concerns that these people were personally, financially benefiting from the decisions that they are in a position to influence people? where they had major financial gain on the upside of these loans. What are you doing about that? Well, first, um, uh, we, we look at any allegation and see if there is any merit to it. Uh, also, what I have been doing, again, because there were no, uh, certainly uh, my ears would have perked up if I got phone calls from people and saying, we want you to look at this loan, we encourage you to, to fund this loan. Um, but uh, we didn't receive those. Uh, but since this time and since people have brought up these uh, connections, if you look at our loan portfolio, you also find uh, very prominent um, uh, uh, fin fin people who have invested in companies we have given loans to uh, who are very prominent uh, Republican donors. We simply didn't know that at the time, nor does it really matter, because we do not give loans based on I guess uh, I am worried about the people that, that work in your department, work in the White House, who are Federal employees who are personally benefiting mm -hmm. in, a, in a group setting there where they have an opportunity to influence people in their decisions. That is the deep concern, Mr. Secretary. I don't see any evidence that you are following through and pushing these to the Inspector General. Um, I just want to get an assurance that you are going to do that and that there are serious consequences for people who do step over those, those ethical lines. Well, certainly our own general counsel's office, uh, if they, if, um, they look at all these allegations uh, as, as we do, and uh, if we think it rises to a threshold where it, it deserves further scrutiny, we will turn them over to IG. And just, that, I, I've got seconds here, but describe what that line is. What, what in your mind becomes unethical behavior? If it turns out that um, uh, this, uh, any of these people were actually active in uh, either actually lobbying or were part of any decision-making process for the loans, I think that would uh, warrant. The fact that they worked for the Department or the agency and they personally benefited, does that not reach a threshold that is concerning to you? 
uh, if there are people who um, work for the Department, and if they are firewalled from have being part of any decision, uh, then, uh, you know, that is how we manage these potential conflicts of interest. And we do firewall them, and we are very scrupulous about trying to make sure that they have no influence on any decision. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.